Casting is a high-risk activity. It should always be demonstrated and supported by trained staff. A physical barrier should be used to keep spectating students away from the process without impeding the operator's escape routes. All spectators should be issued with the appropriate protective clothing, including goggles. Start by squeezing the sand in your hand to establish its moisture content. No water should be visible and the sand should remain in shape without crumbling. This step is critical. If the sand is too wet, the mould may explode. If it's too dry, it will collapse. Now place one half of a tapered pattern face up inside the drag on a large flat table. The table and pattern should be dusted first with a release agent. Next, fill the drag with sand and ram it firmly. When the drag is full, it can be turned over. The base of the wooden pattern will now be visible. Put the remaining half of the pattern in position and dust it with a release agent. Now attach the cope to the drag and position the sprue pins at the end of the pattern. Fill the cope with sand and carefully remove the pins. The resulting holes form the pourer and riser for the molten aluminium. Next, separate the cope and drag and remove the two halves of the pattern. Insert small air holes in the cope to allow gases to escape. Wearing suitable eye protection, carefully clear loose sand from the edges with a bellows or bicycle pump. Now reattach the cope and drag and carefully place them in the casting tray. This should contain additional dry sand at a depth sufficient to contain any spillage.